There's certain times of the year where I'll get out scouting and I won't even bother wearing out the rubber on my boots. And this is one of those spots. I'm overlooking two clear cuts, I'm just doing some glassing. It's pretty early in the morning here in the off season. About 400 yards to my east, there's a row of homes, some private property. And I know they run their feeders most of the year. And I have a couple spots like this where Depending on what time of the season it is, I'll get out and just do some glassing, see if I can patter some of these deer near that private property. Maybe working their way back down. I'll watch the edge of this clear cut. Now if I start seeing some patterns, seeing some deer movement or some sign, then I'll go put some leg work in and see what's going on. I was just looking through my glasses and I did see a couple of nice rubs up there. Let's go check this out quick. wasn't gonna get out of the car because there's still snow on the ground and I got sneakers on but man I'm seeing tracks everywhere over here here and I see two big rubs up there and they look fresh man look at these tracks I'm just gonna take a quick walk up here. Check out these rubs. Who knows, maybe I'll find some sheds. Looks like they were doing a little bit of scraping there. Feet are gonna be soaked. See the track started disappearing up here. Not as fresh as I thought it was. There's the other one. that old either. It's a pretty good one. Anyway, let's go back a little this track. That thing's huge. Anyway, always a good idea to get out here and do some scouting when there's snow on the ground. I didn't plan on getting out of the car today. 
I just wanted to do some glassing over a couple of clear cuts. But I had to come up and see these rubs. Not really dressed for it. Out here running around in sneakers I didn't plan on getting out of the car. <laughs> On this section of public land, I know the deer migrate quite a bit. From early archery season till after gun season, late archery season. Another four miles to the east, there's a bunch of agriculture where they do corn, beans, and we got pumpkin patches. So a lot of the deer migrate up that direction pretty early in the season. And then when all those sources are depleted they'll work their way back down to this section of public land it's funny how different the deer density is in specific locations zip code to zip code depending on what time of year it is but it's pretty neat watching all these things unfold you know from March when you just start getting in to do your scouting to early season archery to late season I've been hunting a lot of this public land for many years and the first few years I had to learn where everybody was hunting, where all the hunters were going to be, where I should hunt, where I shouldn't hunt. And it took me the first couple of years on this public land to start figuring that out. Now that I've got a lot of that worked out, I can concentrate on more of the pockets and focus more on where the deer are instead of trying to get myself away from other hunters. That's the easy part now. The hard part is patterning the deer and getting on them because we're already in a low density area. But I hunt it because it's only a few minutes from my house and it's fun. Wouldn't be any fun if it wasn't a challenge, right? If you're a public land hunter and you have limited access to public land or you're hunting a piece of public land that you're really just set on hunting, it takes a little while to figure out that public land, where the hunters go, where they won't go, the layout of the land, the train features. You can find all that stuff on your maps. But there's nothing better than putting the legwork in putting the time in, getting out there and seeing it with your own eyes, really learning that public land. And to accomplish that, it does take a little bit of time. And if you put that time in, it can be pretty rewarding. <laughs>